This is Asteroid Amber here with High Touch High Tech, and today we have a really cool experiment for you. We are going to be looking at apple oxidation. So, it is the fall time. The fall is a wonderful season for picking apples. I love apples. Now, you can pick them straight from the tree, take a big bite into them, that sweet crunch, it's fabulous. But have you ever cut up an apple and let it sit out for a little while? and it turns kind of brown and gets mushy. Ew, who wants to eat an apple like that? Well, today we're gonna to look at what we can do about that and the science behind apples turning brown. So we're gonna experiment using some different liquids that we have here for you to see. We have some vinegar, uh, lemon juice, grapefruit juice, and lemon lime soda, and water. And we're going to use those to try to slow down that process of oxidation. So the first thing we need to do is take our apples and cut them up. So I'm going to go ahead and reach over here and get a little slice. Lovely. Get another little slice. Fantastic. Man, I'm getting hungry already. Are you? Perfect. All right. So now we've cut up our apples and we need to pour our juice into our little cups that we have here. So let's start with our vinegar. I just have some distilled white vinegar here. You could try apple cider vinegar as well, whatever you have on hand. Apple cider vinegar would definitely taste better than the distilled wood on the apples if you plan to eat them. And next we have some lemon juice. And pour that right in our cup. Perfect. And then we have some grapefruit juice. Or you could use another sort of uh, citric juice as well. But we have grapefruit here. And we also have some soda. Some lemon lime soda. pour that in this cup as well. Great. Yeah, I spill a little bit, that's all right. And then we need to have some water, and the water is going to help be kind of like our constant or our control. So I'm going to put some water in one of these little cups as well. Great. So now we need to paint our apple slices with these different liquids and then we're going to also time our oxidation process on a uh, timer that I'm going to use on my phone and that way we can see according to time which of these is going to work best at keeping our apples from turning brown. So let's go ahead and take some little apple slices here. I'm going to bring this in a little closer to me. this paintbrush to paint my apple slices. So we're going to go ahead and get this one started. Let's see, was this my vinegar or my water? I can't tell by looking at it, so what am I going to have to do? Oh yeah, that's the vinegar for sure. Give it a smell. Yep. All right, so I've painted my apple and I'm going to put it on my plate that I have labeled vinegar. Now I should rinse out my brush, so let's go ahead and I'll just use this water real quick. We'll get a new water. It's time for the water. And I'm going to do some lemon juice next onto this one. Here we go. Perfect. Just painting it on, rinsing out my brush again. All right, you could also use different brushes. One brush for each so you don't have to rinse it out. That would be totally fine as well. All right, so here is the grapefruit. Very good. And then we have our vinegar. Or no, I'm sorry, that's not our vinegar, that's our, uh, our soda. Soda. There we go, there's the soda. And then we're going to also use our untreated. So here's our plate for the untreated apples. And it's probably good to do a couple of slices on there just in case so you can kind of see what's going to happen. 
Alright, so we're going to go ahead and start our stop clock here. Let's get it going. And we'll check back. So for the next part of this experiment, we're going to actually submerge our apples in our different liquids here. So I'm going to go ahead and just use my same plates. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just draw a little one at the bottom of each of these apples and I'm going to leave them right where they are. And that way I know that that was the first experiment where they were just painted. All right. So now we're going to dip the apples into the solution for one minute and then pull them out and see if being totally submerged will help uh, change the process at all as well. So, I'm going to take a little piece of apple here. I'm going to put this one right down into my soda. And one's going straight into my grapefruit juice. Then we're going to come over to the lemon juice. And also into the vinegar. And I need to pour up a new clean water since I used that water to rinse out my brush. There we go. And a little piece as well for the water. Okay, wait one minute. So now that our apples have been soaking in these different solutions for a minute, we're going to take them out and place them on the appropriate plate. So our first one right here, this was the water. I'm going to just set it right here on the water plate. Then we had the soda, nice and bubbly, put it there. Also the grapefruit juice, set it right there. And then our lemon juice was next, let's put that there. And last but not least, our vinegar, and set it there. And we'll check back and see the progress of the oxidation. Well, let's conclude our apple oxidation experiment by taking a look at how the apples have changed over the course of about an hour. All right, so sometimes experiments don't always go as expected, and today we're going to take a look at our results. So, here we have in our first plate the untreated apple. You will notice that it is getting rather brown. Second, we have the apple that was treated in water. This one was soaked in water. It looks about the same as the untreated apple. Next, we have the apples that were uh, in the vinegar. This, this number two was submerged in the vinegar, while number one was painted on the vinegar. And notice that it is quite brown. So even though vinegar is an acid, it for some reason did not seem to prevent this apple from oxidizing. All right, let's take a look at the soda. Here we see these, these apples are a little bit less brown. Now, number two is where the apple was soaked and number one was where it was painted on. To me, it looks like the number one apple is a little more white than the number two apple. All right, let's move on to the grapefruit juice. So here we have our apples. These apples actually look pretty good. Um, the apple number two was submerged all the way in the juice while apple number one was painted on. They both look relatively well. And then over here we have the lemon juice. And here we have the apple that was totally submerged into the lemon. And number one we have the lemon juice that was painted on. So if I were to choose to eat one of these apples, I would go with the lemon juice that was completely submerged. That apple is nice and white. There is not a brown spot on it and it looks very good. So, why did this experiment work? What is it about that lemon juice that helped the apple to look so good? Well, we have to know a little bit about the process of oxidation. So, oxidation happens when those apples, well, they've been cut up and they start to release some electrons into the surrounding air, into the oxygen. And so, when that happens, the process of the oxidation is happening and the apples begin to turn brown because of that release of electrons. So, apples, therefore, are actually going, undergoing a chemical reaction just by being exposed to the air. The vinegar slows down that reaction or prevents it altogether from happening. So next time you're going to a party and you want to take some freshly cut up apples, 
maybe even a little side of car caramel dip or some peanut butter to dip them in. Make sure you dip your apples in some sort of acid to keep them from turning. I would suggest lemon juice if you really want your apples to look nice and white and ready to eat. And also, keep in mind that those very same apples that we've experimented with today are super good for your body. They contain all sorts of vitamins, minerals, nutrients that are great for keeping you healthy. So if you've heard the, app, the expression that an apple a day keeps the doctor away, they're right. Because apples are so wonderful for your body. They even contain some antioxidants that help your skin and your tissues inside of you um, from aging poorly. And so apples are extremely helpful and delicious. Well, I'll see you next time.